Thanks for stopping by. I'm using the Nox Flowing Sword. It's, you know, a curved sword. Well, you know. It's a curved sword, and it has the Shotel moveset, right? Because it's essentially a Shotel, right? And so it gets the bonus of doing extra, you know, shield pierce damage. So that's kind of neat. I didn't actually run into any people using shields, but still. It's got a unique Ash of War flowing form. It, you know, extends the weapon, basically turning it into a whip, right? And, man, I swear. I wish that FromSoft took a different approach with the, the flowing weapons. Um, because it's one of the things where you see the Nox Swordsmen and the Nox Monks using the flowing weapons and they're constantly like, you know, using their flowing form, right? And it's really fun to see, but, you know, then you get the weapon and they're like, oh sweet, you know, finally I can, I got the weapon that those people are using that turns into like a whip, essentially, and extends. And then the version you get just kind of sucks in comparison. So, you know, there's been multiple weapons like that that have just been so disappointing when you finally get them in your hands. And I really wish that they, you know, had a different approach with uh, these weapons. But, you know, all in all, I think the Ash of War looks cool. I like the animation. It gives you pretty good range for a curved sword, so, you know, it's pretty, pretty nice, but, um, it's, it's really slow, and it's pretty easy to avoid, and if you want range, you're probably off just using the Wing of Astel, to be honest, um, although I think this might have a little bit more range, or just as much with the Ash of War, I, I'm not sure. I didn't risk using it though, um, because you know those those heavies uh, do quite a bit of damage, so I didn't really want to risk trading with the uh, the wing of Astel charged heavy with the Ash of War, so you know I didn't really uh, try it out. But maybe you could outspace it with the Ash of War, but maybe not. Um, but yeah, it's just, uh, it's pretty good. I had a fun enough time doing it. There's only two duels here because I just didn't play for hardly, uh, you know, hardly any time at all, really. Um, I don't know. I guess I can show one more duel. Um, but I, I don't know. I just, the PvP in this game is not really keeping my attention all that well, so, you know. The game is in desperate need of um, some balance changes, right? Um, but there just hasn't been any communication on the developer's part, and it's made it... Um, it's made it really hard to care about PvP with the state that the game's in, given how broken it is, um, you know, so... It's a real shame because I think this game is amazing and I would like it to be better than it is and I don't know. I just wish that there was more weapon variety, variety as well, you know. I think the Nox Flowing Sword and the Flowing Hammer are weapons that are perfect examples of the um, the lack of innovation by From Software because they're really, you know, quite, uh, I think, amazing weapons. All you have to do is just watch the actual enemies that use these weapons, you know, fight, and you can see how just how amazing they could be. Um, but they remove all of that utility when in the player's hands, which is, you know, extremely disappointing. So. You know, I think that that should be changed, but you know, hey, it's, it makes sense that it's not. But anyway, that's pretty much all I've got.